So now that you've seen the stuff that's in a toolkit, I think it's important to understand how you're going to lug this stuff around. And I think the most important thing you got to do to make sure that you do this is get really cool pencil case bags. And I've been collecting them for years. So I'm going to show you my three favorites. I've got this little one here. It's transparent. It looks like a cassette tape. This is what I keep all of my thumb drives, a couple of batteries, so one AA, one AAA, and a couple of adapters for headphones. Um, you'd be surprised how often you might need adapters. And then a splitter, a splitter to basically connect two sets of headphones to one computer. Also, my new favorite, Michelle Obama, Mighty Michelle with Bambi in the forest. Yes, you know you want one just like this. Got this one in Halifax. Famous image from the Berlin Wall. Went there, thought Berlin was amazing. Found this cute little bag. And of course, this is the famous image, the kiss from the Berlin Wall. So there it is. Get fun bags to keep your toys and you're more likely to want to put them in your bag and take them with you. So in my first bag, I have all of the things that I use for basically doing presentations using my laptop. So of course, this is just the remote control from my Mac. Um, I always keep this with me, even though I don't use it very often, but when you need it, you're glad you have it. And then I have projector adapters, and there's two basic kinds. So this is the VGA. This is what I used to use all the time with these pins here. I don't know if the camera can find that there. Um, but now what's more common is this one here, which is HDMI. They both have the same connector here. And as far as like what kind of a port you have on your computer, there's many different kinds. So what you should do is just bring your computer with you, whether it's a Mac or PC, bring it into the store, just show somebody if you can find somebody to help you and just say, I need to plug this into a projector or into a um, university projector system and they will sort you out. I always keep both, even though I never use the VGA anymore. You never know, you could go someplace, go to a conference, at a school, you get one of the older rooms, especially if you're in the arts. And you know, you might end up having to use this and then you're glad that you have it. So always keep it with you. My second little case keeps all of my little production items, my little doodads. So of course, my Osmo Pocket and the little card, the card reader that you use to plug it into the computer. And then the cable for charging it. Always good to just keep all of these things in the same place. And then my little Zoom Handy H5 plug-in for my phone and a charger for my phone. And in fact, maybe I'll show you if I can find my phone. Here's my phone. So I'll show you how this wonderful device works. You basically take your phone, hello, and plug this in. Shazam! And then what it does is the phone automatically uses this microphone if you're recording anything, a video on the phone, or if you're doing a memo, it will automatically use this stereo microphone that's inside here. It's so much better than the one that's already in your phone. I can't remember how much this one cost. I think it was about 200 bucks. Uh, I've used it so many times that it's paid for itself like 10 times over. Cause you'll be surprised how often you wanna use, you know, your phone, or an iPad for that matter to record audio, and then you're gonna be really glad that you have this puppy here. Then my third little bag keeps all the little bits and pieces of things. So I always keep at least two thumb drives. Two, not one, but two. Why two, Gordon? Well, because sometimes you need more than one, and you'd be surprised how many times when you start working with computers and tech that you're gonna need more than one. 
and sometimes I'm like dumping an assignment on here and I can't get it on through the cloud or there's like a firewall issue or something and I can't get it into the KPU system online. So I always back up assignments on here and if you have to, you do it the old fashioned way. You just plug it in and put it onto all of the computers. And then I have this one here. This is called the Leaf Drive and it's kind of a cool device. It's got the plug for your iPad and your computer and you can just kind of plug it into both and uh, transfer files back and forth between your iPad or your phone and your computer. Uh, not, not all thumb drives will do that. In fact, most of them won't. And the reason why is because it has this little plug here that plugs in directly to your computer. Very handy, or sorry, directly into your iPad and then this goes directly into your computer. And then in this other, the same small bag, I always keep a couple of batteries, at least one AA, and at least one AAA. I'm not particular about brand, but I do tend to go for the bigger brands like Duracell or Energizer, just because I don't know how many times I've used batteries from a dollar store in a device, and then you come back to the device a couple months later and the acid has come out and eaten the inside and then you gotta throw the device away because it's really hard to clean the inside. So I try to just go with better quality batteries. And then I have my adapters. And the adapters, I think this might be more, I don't know, specific to the kind of work that I do because I do a lot of work with sound and music, but I use these guys all the time. So this is just a headphone splitter. You can see it's got one mini jack on the end, and then it's got room for two sets of headphones. And sometimes you need to plug it into something with a quarter inch jack. If it's a computer, it's just a mini, uh, a mini port in the back of the computer. But sometimes if it's like a keyboard or something, you might need the quarter inch adapter. So I always keep an adapter. And then this is really old school. This is quarter inch to mini. Because sometimes you might get a set of headphones that have the quarter inch jack at the end, but you need to plug those headphones into a laptop. So I keep this adapter with me as well. And all three of them can just connect like that and they go in my bag. 